Welcome back to Brenda's Digital Life. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make like uh, your own do-it-yourself um, award badges, like uh, the one here. It's from the Apple Watch. If you kind of did a a challenge and then you get a badge in the end, and the badge itself is actually quite unique. There's a lot of design. This is a simple one. Um, the badge itself on your iPhone will be seen as 3D and it's it has a nice outline etc but uh, you can kind of recreate this uh, in blender so i'm gonna show you how to make it more 3d so grab the logo svg for example the blender logo um, once you download it the svg you can import it into blender as svg you know uh, you probably already know how to do this and you can turn this into 3D very easily. When you bring SVG into Blender, it comes as a curve like this. You want perhaps to just scale it 10 times or yeah, 15 times. Anyhow, it comes as a curve and it's all kind of overlapping. Uh, you know that you can always do like a extrusion to make it 3d so that's one thing but with the apple badges you can see this is actually 3d and it's kind of like a, a little bit rounded so i want to do the same thing and i want to project this into a sphere or something the way i'll do it maybe it's the, i'll create a uv sphere and i'm gonna be projecting the logo into the sphere Normally, this is actually um, slightly tricky unless you know what you're doing. I'm going to show you the technique to do this. So file, save as. This is badge, projected. So the trick here is basically uh, really simple. You want to project this into the sphere but you want it to be to look as nice as possible and currently this is like a curve and in order to project properly we need to turn it into mesh so I get, I'm gonna grab all the curve right click convert to mesh you will see the mesh if you go to edit mode the mesh has a really weird topology with all the triangles the way to clean this up is there's one way to do this very quickly f3 limited dissolve if you do that it's gonna clean up everything so you don't have the triangulations but if you want to project this nicely you you actually want to have nice topology so in order to do that i'll recommend you to download these uh, quads quad swords by kushiro so this is actually this is free but you can give like donations so if you use the quad sword you'll be able to slice and dice kind of making grid for whatever you're doing oh it's limited to 50 okay that's okay in this case i'll do the same thing f3 limited to solve and then right click quad quad sword so this is a this is an add-on that's I already installed so it's basically making like a grid so f3 limited dissolve right click quad quad sword and I wish I can control a little bit more Oh well, anyway, so that's the trick is just to get the nice grid so you can then shrink wrap and project it into the sphere. And you can use project <clears throat> and select the negative or positive or both and solidify. Solidify, you can always invert it. 
So now our badge will be a little bit more 3D, it's a little bit nicer. So we can select all our meshes and this one, the last one, and then Command L link the modifier. So it's gonna copy the modifier. Now we have all three of them with the same thickness. Let's just make a little bit of variations. So now we have this. You can write you can select everything and then right click shade smooth. So now it's shade smooth. I think you also want to turn on normals, auto smooth, select all of them, hold options and then click auto smooth. The logo might be a little bit off. I think Blender Foundation might need to, might need to update their logo at the uh, wiki. I think it should be a little bit more center. Anyway, the logo is really important. So now that we have this, we actually can get rid of the sphere. And if you want to project, okay, the back part, you can also project your own name, for example, if you want to do that. Let's see if I can just offset this. Yeah, I think, yeah, you get the idea. If you want to project your name at the back, you can also do that. Create a text. So it's currently upside down. Let me show you, I think this should just work. So this is the text object, right? Still text objects, you can edit it. Right click, convert to mesh. Once again, if you go to edit mode using tab, you need, uh, you, you want to clean this up, limit to dissolve, and quad swords, I think this should work. Kind of want to have more deficiencies, however, I wish this can go a little bit higher. No, cannot. Well, okay. Might need to talk to Kushiro about it. The better the grid, the better it's gonna project. So let's try the string wrap once again. Gonna project it there. Projection. edit mode bring it down it's gonna project it at the back interesting doesn't seem to like Okay, maybe I need to apply all the modifier. Just right click, convert to mesh. So this should project on this surface. Ah, that's weird, okay. Solidify. Oh, it's actually inverted. Okay, let's see. R, Y, one eighty. Seems to be projecting, but it's 
slightly off. Okay. Make it smaller in edit mode. Yeah, in reality, you want to have like a, a different material at the back. And you probably don't need to see the other parts. So maybe bring this up. Bring this up. Oh, that's actually, there's a hole there, okay. Maybe give it different material, silver. Oh, this, by the way, by default, if you bring in SVG, the material actually is not automatically automatically converted into principal. So you want to use nodes with this color selected. Command C, get the color and just paste it here. Now we have a better material, maybe bit of roughness so we have this kind of gradient this one you, same same thing use nodes maybe you want to have a bit of subsurface scattering bit of metalness maybe not too much with subsurface this same thing command C copy the color use nodes paste it on base color increase metalness and roughness and maybe the here with the white color, maybe you want to use clear coat. Sometimes it's nice to have clear coat. And you're going to have like uh, nice reflections. Turn on ambient occlusion. Screen space reflections. And you have patch that's more or less 3D. So basically the point is make sure you have a nice quad. So you can have your badge. The back part is better to have like oh maybe one color I guess. The color doesn't seem to be transferring. Oh, okay, now it's transferring. It has a nice glow. Okay. Because this is inside Blender, you can use emission. Increase the strength. So you, have, you can have like nice glow with bloom. So you, you can put your name here behind the Blender badge. And this is 3D. Oh, I forgot with the 3Dness. Maybe you want to center the treatiness instead of having it weird like this. Yeah, okay, you have it. You can have it on the round ball. Just add subsurface scattering, so it's all nice and soft. Have a bit of light. And there you go, that's a nice Blender logo in 3D. And you can export this out as AR if you want to. All right, so that's actually kind of like a quick way to project 3D mesh. If you, as long as you have like a nice topology like this, it's gonna project nicely if you use a string wrap. So that's basically the theory. Alright, so hopefully you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.